<laughs> hey guys, I'm Ethan Brown, and I do a show called Math and Magics. It's basically a combination of math and magic. To get us started, if you guys have calculators, can you take them out now? And to get us started, we're going to be squaring some numbers. As you guys know, squaring the numbers and multiplying it by itself. So can I get someone for a two-digit number? Someone for a two-digit number. Thirty-five. Thirty-five squared should be one thousand two hundred twenty-five. <laughs> yes. Someone else for a two-digit number. Twenty-one. Twenty-one squared should be four hundred forty-one. Okay. One more two-digit number. Uh, go ahead. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven squared is five thousand nine hundred twenty-nine. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm going to try to take it one step further. I'm going to try to square some three-digit numbers. These will definitely take me more time, but I'll try to do them as quickly as possible, and I will try and be correct. So someone for a three-digit number, please go ahead. 631. 631 squared should be... 398,161. <laughs> Someone else for a three digit number. Go ahead. 567. 567 squared is 321,489. <laughs> <laughs> One more three digit number. Uh, go ahead. 789. 789 squared. That's a tricky one. That is. 622,521. <laughs> How many of you guys have heard of a magic square before? Magic squares are generally done where the audience, where the audience gives the performer a number from somewhere around 50 to 100. They then have to fill in the magic square to make it so every row and every column add up to that number. However, I approach it a little differently. I have audience volunteers give me numbers to start with. Then I have to fill in the magic square to make it add up to the total. Let's get some volunteers. Let me just get a few people here to help out. Okay, one, just stand up where you are, you don't have to come up here. Two and three. So what so what I'm gonna do is I'll have uh your let's just imagine that the squares were numbered from one to sixteen. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that would be one, that would be sixteen, thirteen, six. You get the idea. I'm gonna have you choose one of the squares from one to sixteen. Go ahead. 12. 12. So 12, is that the square you wanted? Sure. Okay, give me a number from 1 to 20 to put there. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, now, uh, you, a number from 1 to 16? 9. 9, 6, 8, 9, and a number from 1 to 20? 7. 7. Lastly, number from 1 to 16? 2. 2. 2, and a number from 1 to 20? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. You guys just filled in three numbers. Now I'm going to try to fill in three more numbers. Okay. At, at this now, here comes the tricky part. Can someone give me a two-digit number greater than 50? Go ahead. Uh, 68. 68. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. I would like to mention that there were 4.48 million 
or, sorry, actually 224 million possible combinations of numbers, squares, and totals that our volunteers could have chosen. And it took me a really long time to memorize them all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I was able to make it work. Let's take the first row. We have 13 plus 12 is 25, plus 34 is 59, plus 9 is 68. That was our 37, 43, 59, 68, 739, 53, 68, 11, 29, 33, 68. Let's check the columns. We have 13 plus 37 is 50, plus 7, 57, plus 11 is 68. Those are 12, 18, 50, 68, 34, 50, 64, 68, 9, 18, uh, 33, 68. How about that? <laughs> didn't stop there. I decided to get the diagonals to add up to 68 as well. 13 plus 6 is 19, plus 14 is 33, plus 35 is 68, 9 is 25, uh, 57 is 68. But I didn't stop there either. That's how the middle box adds up. Oh my God. 6, 8, 6, 2, 50, 4, 68. But did I stop there? No. I don't know if you noticed, but I paid a little extra attention to that corner right there. What I did was I allowed this group of four to add up to 68. 13 plus 12 is 25, plus 37 is 62, plus 6 is 68. But I thought, let's have a party. Let's get this group of four. 34, 68, this group of four. 7, 18, 36, 68, this group of four. 14, 18, uh, 53, 68. But did I stop there? No, I got this group of four, this group of four, this group of four, this group of four, this group of four. This group of four. In fact, there are 36 different ways this magic square adds up to 68. Let me show you one more way. The four corner numbers add up to 68. 13, 22, 33, 68. Thank you very much. Complain, please. So, no. so yeah. since, since we've still got some time, what I'll do is I'll actually uh, I'll actually take some questions. I'd be happy to show you guys how I did any of this, any of the things that I've done here. So uh, you can ask me how I did things, like when I started learning it, whatever you guys are curious about. So, any questions? Okay, go ahead. How do you square? How do I square the numbers? This is one of my favorite things to teach. Let's start with a 
Let's start with an easier two-digit number, like a smaller one. Uh, anyone? <laughs> That's a little too easy. <laughs> How about 18? 18. So, 18 squared. The first, the first thing you do, 18 isn't so, isn't too bad to multiply by, but what's a number close to 18? That's a little bit easier. 20. So we're going to go up. 2 to 20. Now, whatever comes up must come down. If we go up 2 to 20, we have to go down 2 to 16. So the first thing you do is you do 16 times 20. Now, to do that, you would do 16 times 2. What's 16 times 2? 32. So we have 32. Then we just bring down the 0. We're almost finished. All we have to do is take the square of whatever we went up and down. 2 squared is 4. 320 plus 4 is 324, and that is 18 squared. Let's, let's try another one. Let's get another. 73. 73. <laughs> this time, uh, what's the closest easy number to 73? 70. 70. So we'll go down to 70 up to 76. Now, 70 times 76, that's a little bit harder, but we can do it. First, we'll do 7 times 70, which is 490. 7 times 6 is 42. 490 plus 42 is 532. So we have 5, 3, 2, bring up the 0, plus 3 squared is 9. 5,320 plus 9 is 5,329. Now, we're going to do one more, but instead of doing it like this, I'm actually going to make this one into a race. So I'm going to so I'm going to shout out a number and I want to and right when you figure out the answer without using your calculator. Put up your, <laughs> put up your hand and whichever hand, whichever hand I see up first, I'll ask you to call out whatever you think the answer is. So who can square the number 97? <laughs> Start with the first digit times one digit higher. 
So this is this is one of my favorite things to teach younger students, like fourth and fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be really fun. That should be perfectly easy for you guys. Any other questions? Uh, go ahead. Who like taught you how to do all this stuff? Who taught me how to do this? Um, I actually I started learning how to do it last last year by uh, I read a book by a guy named Dr. Arthur Benjamin. He does the same shows as I do. He travels all over the world, and he wrote a book called The Secrets of Mental Math that teaches how to do everything that I've shown you here. So I read the book, and I've actually gotten to perform alongside him on stage a couple of times at the World Science Festival in New York City, and and so I learned it from Dr. Arthur Benjamin. So, how are we doing this time? You're alright, you got about so, 10 minutes, that'd be great. Okay, I'll get a, few, I'll get a couple more questions. What level then, math are you in? What level math am I in? I'm in 7th grade, I'm taking a, I'm taking an Algebra 2 course. <laughs> and, wait, sorry. Oh. <laughs> 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 So you, you travel around pretty much all year. Uh, I uh, I do a little bit of traveling. I do lots of shows up in the Connecticut area. That's where I live. And I I traveled down here for the Chicago Toying Game Fair, which was held Saturday and Sunday. And your teacher invited me to come here. So I'm also going to be going down to Atlanta next spring. And I'm going to be in St. Louis in May, so I do a little bit of traveling to answer your question. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're still pretty good. Uh, go ahead. Do you get paid? <laughs> do I get paid? Um, one day, I, one day. <laughs> I, I don't get paid for the majority of my shows, but I do love doing school enrichment assemblies, and and that, and in that case, sometimes I get paid. This was a special case where I did not, but <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have <laughs> um, but other but uh, but other times, yes. So anything else? Go ahead. Is this what you like want to do when you're older too, or like? Uh, is this what I want to do when I get older? Uh, when I get older, I'd like to be a math teacher or a math professor, something where I can show kids how much fun math can be, because it's really an interesting subject if you look at the fun side of it, like doing these things in your head really quickly instead of instead of having to take out your calculator. I think that's kind of cool. So I'd like to be able to use this in my te in kind of teaching people how much fun math can be. So uh, anything else? Yeah. How did you do that box so quickly? How did I do the magic square so quickly? Um, the magic, uh, that magic square is actually, it would it would take me a really long time to explain. <laughs> so what I'll do is I actually made a PDF the other day that teaches how to how to do my magic square. So I. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, if you could pass it along, uh, I can share it. I can, I can email yeah. it to so Mr. So my dad's going to email it to, uh, Ms. to your teacher. <laughs> 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 uh, and, he, and so it will be available for you guys to get. Uh, how much time do I have? Um, if you, oh, you got about eight minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> what, what I can do is teach you a little bit of a simpler version of the magic square that if you guys, you guys want to start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is a magic square where all, where all you require is an audience member to give you a total. I'll just demonstrate real quickly. Okay, so someone, can someone give me a number from 50 to 100? Go ahead. 34. Higher than 50. Higher than 50. 
if any of you are familiar with magic squares, you will see that that one is a little bit easier.
7488, so I can say 71 milli. The 488 become, every number has a word. 488 has the word um, rave hive. Rave hive, it's not a great, it's not a great word, but I'll take it. Now 368 squared is uh, 336 times 400, that's 132, uh, 1344, plus 36 squared. 32 squared is 135,424. Uh, uh, run, run Roy, if I need it, run Roy. Take the, uh, what was that? Take the 135, add that to, uh, add that to Rave Hive to get, um, Six hundred twenty-three thousand four hundred twenty-four. Yeah, close. You're very okay. close. So you actually what, made a mistake towards the beginning. Don't tell me. What, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the steps with you guys. You'll see it's a little bit like the two-digit scoring that we were doing, and we'll find out where I made my mistake, and then I'll try to fix it. So eight thousand three hundred sixty-eight. First, I did 8,000 times 8,734, and so I'll punch that into their calculator. Uh, 8,000 times 8,034. That, that, that's the first problem right there. Okay, so, okay. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That's 8,000. It was actually 8,000 times. No, I did that. Okay, 8,000 times 8,736 is what I did, not 834. Actually, get someone to actually choose a volunteer to help me with this to make it easier. Someone has a calculator. Just raise your hand if you're doing. Okay, so I'll have you help me out here. So, eight thousand times eight thousand seven hundred thirty-six, and I got seventy-one million. Uh, got seventy-one million four hundred eighty-eight. Is that correct? It's sixty-nine. Don't tell me what it is. So was I correct or not? No. Okay. So uh, let me try that again. 8,000 times 8,736. So 8 times, so 64. 712. 8 times 3 is 24. So 7144. 8 times 6 is 48. So 7148. Oh, oh. 8 times 64. 8 times 7 is 56. So that is 71. So that's. Six nine six. There we go. Six nine six. Uh, then six. So six nine eight four. Six nine eight eight eight. So sixty nine million. I'll go with now. Eight eighty eight becomes uh becomes uh FIFA high. FIFA high. Okay. No. Three sixty eight squared. Let's see. If was four. Uh, was four twenty four three sixty eight. That is three thirty six hundred three hundred six seven. Yeah, one three five plus eight 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 is uh oh, seventy million uh eight 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 plus nine eight eight uh oh one oh twenty three thousand four hundred twenty four is that right? Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.